Agile Llamas was actually the name of my college punk rock band, but Llama Agility is also a contest here at the Minnesota State Fair. And joining us this morning mm -hmm. is Prim. Brought along a friend here, Kylie Stafford from Moward County, and we also have Austin here with Brianna Wallard from Carver County. Thank you all for being with us today. Uh, why don't we just start with tell us about the llamas. Um, so this is my llama prim. She's itchy. That's why she's... <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, she's, she's got an itchy head. Um, she, I've had her since she was probably a few months old. I bought her with her mom when I was starting my own farm. So she lives with me down by Rochester. I'm from southern Minnesota and we do costume. Um, we were Tiger King last night. Um, and yeah, she's she's the most laid back llama ever and she has um, been with me since she was a baby. So we're pretty good friends. Uh, Brianna, uh, Austin here loves my iPad. Yeah. He's been kissing it. He's been turning the pages. Delicious. Turning the pages. <laughs> Tell us about Austin. So this is Austin. He's two years old. This is his first time at the state fair. Um, he's yeah. So he's kind of a nice llama. Um, I've had him since he's been born, just like Kylie, and I've loved doing costume. Last night, um, I was in a Roman chariot with my blue dress I made, and it's sitting oh, in the Four H building yeah. right nice. now. Nice. Nice. So I can go see that. And he's just kind of a fun llama. He's really easy going, and he's yeah. He's really soft. Yes, he is. What do you guys think about, like, llamas are super trendy right now. Like, they're all over, you know, back-to-school backpacks and that sort of thing. Llamas have been super trendy. Um, I think a lot of times they're associated with, like, the desert um, and cactuses. But, you know, they are from Peru. But um, I think they're super trendy just because they aren't, like, they don't fit into a category. Mm -hmm. they, they're they fuzzy, but they have a weird ear. They have weird, she just wants to eat. So yeah. she I don't blame her. Like, yeah, it, she right, loves right. the grass. But hey, buddy. I think that it's a great way to end like the whole llama spit stigma. It's hard, it's good for us to get out and be like llamas right. don't always spit, you know, and stuff like that. No, so. cuz they only spit right if you steal their food. That and also if they're mad at each other and agitated I mean, that, at each other. That's not so different from all of us as humans. We spit sometimes <laughs> when we're mad. No one makes fun of us for it, right? Right, right. I think that um, the way that I tell people is they spit over food. Mm -hmm. Another Can we thing scratch is, this yeah, head? Can we help? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Um, another thing is dominance. If they're showing dominance mm. people, but a lot of people think a llama is just going to walk up to you and spit, but that's not the case. So. They, they're so unique looking, too. Can I mean, they kind of like little tiny heads here. <laughs> can, can you tell us what the agility contest is? What kind of, th what makes a llama agile? Um, it's really anything, like with our um, our agility course, obstacle course, we've done jumps, we've had to bring them through dark tunnels, uh, sometimes we've put, had to run them over like uh, military tires, so we've had, to, uh, we've had to go over with them, over mattresses, so it's a, really each year is something different, which is really cool. Austin's ears are just going to go back and forth, how, back and forth. How fun is this for you guys after not having the fair last year to be back here? Um, I actually show a lot of open shows, so I did get an opportunity to show, but I do like coming to the state fair just because um, I started out in 4-H. So I like coming to the state fair, and I was happy that we still got to have kind of a mock state fair, but I'm glad to be back. This you is think fantastic. Grim wants to say something? I mean, really interesting. <laughs> Austin just come over and say, hey. Yeah, you oh, know. Well, they want to show off these beautiful, from you. these beautiful cuts. Yeah, you're a dog groomer too, right? Yes, so. so my mom has, me and my mom work together um, in Rochester. She's a she's a pet groomer, so it's basically the same thing. Oh, cool. Aww. You guys are going to walk, walk them on stage, right? We'll give you one uh, last look at this. Let, let's have a round of applause for the llamas, everyone, please. Prim and Austin here. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. It's very I didn't know, agile. I didn't know we were going to do tricks up here, too. We're clapping. All right. Isn't that cool, Aww. Riley and Shayla? The, we're clapping. Yeah, that's right. This wait, is fantastic. Aren't they pretty animals, They're though? beautiful. They really are. They're mm -hmm. uh, exactly like you said. Yeah. They're like a little awkward and interesting yes. and They're beautiful. Fun. I love it. <laughs> All right. Back just, to you, Riley. Just don't want to make a mat. Just don't just make don't a mat. No. Yes. I know. Never. <laughs> no, we would never do that anyway. <laughs>